So, I'm a dyslexic dyspraxic. Please don't heckle me. If you do, I'll think of a comeback, and then I'll it word wrong say. <laughs> oh, the troubles of dyslexia. I put the sex in dyslexia and a spack in dyspraxia. <laughs> do you know what I find really sexist? Public breastfeeding. So if you tell you my cousin, who recently had a baby, every time she breastfeeds him in public, no one bats an eyelid. When I do it, I get arrested. <laughs> then again, he did nearly choke on one of my nipple piercings. Um, <laughs> so, um, does anyone here appreciate people having sex at house parties? Um, I do. That's how I lost my virginity. That's not a joke, that's a genuine fact. <laughs> um, so if you go to a house party and you've got a couple having sex, I like to leave a deposit in the corner. And um, I also like to video it on my phone and sell the video off to Pornhub and make a few quid. Um, I recently found out that's actually illegal and that really upset me. So I decided to rebel against this. I've written a poem that I'm just going to perform. I named this poem... Just casually walking around the park at night, videoing people doing the dirty and selling the videos off to Pornhub. <laughs> Here we go. All right, doggers, fucking in the car. I'm going to name this video The Seagull. Because I can't see what you're actually doing, but I can hear someone screaming... Hello, sad, lonely, fat man masturbating into a map of America. I'm going to name this video Donald Trump because it shows footage of some fat cunt fucking the USA. Hello there, younger version of Jack Rushworth the night he lost his virginity. Don't worry. You're doing fine. Wait, no, that's not how you do 69. <laughs> no, you fool, you're not supposed to sit on her face. This really is the first time you've gone as far as second base. By the way, I'm going to name this video The Extra Mile, because he even failed at doggy style. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, I'm a musical theatre student, uh, but no, I'm not gay, although you're cute. Definitely let you be the train. <laughs> Makes sense, because I've got the cushion for the cushion. <laughs> so um, I had a go at writing my own musicals. I wrote one about the life of Jimmy Savile. I named it Kitty Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> um, so far, musical theatre hasn't really worked out for me. I um, originally wanted to go into acting, but they told me to do musical theatre because they didn't have enough boys, and they said, I'll do. Um, <laughs> I've had a go at a couple of normal jobs as well. I um, worked as a cleaner at a gym because I didn't have the qualifications to be a personal trainer. My favourite part about being a cleaner is that I was allowed in the female changing room and it was much nicer in there than it was in the male changing room because the pubes don't block the shower drains as much. Well, at least not as badly as my pubes do. To be fair... Cleaning the shower drains was actually the, glim the grimmest job because it was basically just yanking pubes out of the plug hole with your hands. The, the worst mistake you can make is to forget to wear plastic gloves. Um, not that I ever made that mistake, ever. Uh, not at all. Um, <laughs> so, I've got another poem that I thought I'd use to end this act. Uh, this is a poem I wrote about my life. I called it The Failed Actor. Here we go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I live a life that's sad and low. I didn't make it as an actor. And my singing's too shit for the X Factor. My acting just made people cringe. Funny word, because it rhymes with minge. <laughs> <laughs> so
So my acting career has not been the sharpest knife, almost as sad and low as my sex life. <laughs> the people of this industry are really shitty. Funny word, because it rhymes with titty. <laughs> Halfway through my audition, they said, right, go on, that's enough. Funny word, because it rhymes with muff. <laughs> they told me I'm too short and fat. Well, I've got a word for them. Twat! <laughs> Well, if you look at the time upon the clock, I'm going to go off and tug my cock. 